Hi friend, I'm Lila with Bodyworker.org, here to share a yoga swing practice with you. This sequence is one that will stretch out your whole body, will stretch out the core and your spine, your side bodies, will stretch out your shoulders and arms, will stretch out the hips and the legs. So you'll want to make sure that you have a mat underneath your swing. And it would be helpful if you had two yoga blocks. And if you have those blocks, just place them close to your swing. So you'll want your hip, hips to be the same height as the swing seat. So make the swing seat adjust to your hip height. And then stand underneath your swing and hold on to your upper handles. Your upper handles should be shoulder width apart. And then from there, you can step back into Utkatasana chair pose. Step your feet wider than your shoulders and then sway side to side. We'll practice a four count breath. Let's exhale together. And then in, two, three, four, pause. Out, two, three, four, pause. In. Two, three, four, pause, out, two, three, four, pause. So your hands can face one another as you're holding on to the handles, or you could rotate them forward or even outward to feel different kinds of stretch in your shoulders. So let's inhale to stand up. The next exercise we'll do is hanging using our body weight for uh, at the exercise. We'll swing forward and exhale knees to chest and then we'll swing back and bring your feet towards your back body. We'll do two swings like that and then we'll swing knees, big knee circle twice in one direction and then knees in the other direction. So let's hold on to upper handles, step back into your chair, inhale, Exhale, swing forward, knees to chest, in, out, big knee circles, one direction, and then big knee circles in the other direction, and then release, and inhale to stand. So if that felt challenging for your grip, that's normal, and your grip will get stronger over time. So we'll do a different kind of grip for this next exercise. We're going to interlace the hands around one of your upper handles. Press your hands together all the way up to the webbing and then place the crease of the webbing on the top of the foam handle and then step back into your chair pose. So for this chair pose, you can still sway side to side and let's imagine a 10 pound sandbag strapped to each thigh. And so that weighting your thigh bones back and down, that's gonna help traction your hips, your pelvis, your spine. So we're stepping forward with the right foot into a goddess and making a quarter turn away from the swing. Step forward quarter turn away from the swing. Squeeze your glutes and your outer hip muscles to bring your knees wide and to lengthen your adductor muscles at the inner thighs. And then let's pendulum side to side. Four count breath. Let's come to center and inhale to stand. So if it feels intense on your hands, Let's give your hands a shake or a flick and then be sure to press the webbing really tight together. Let's take that grip again. We're going to move into a lunge sequence. So let's sit into the goddess. Keep your right knee wide. Drop your left knee in and make a quarter turn to your right. Back leg straight with the heel high. We're in crescent lunge. Front knee is moving towards 90 degrees. Inhale here. 
Exhale, push your front leg straight and drop your back heel down for pyramid. Let's try that again. Inhale into your crescent and hold the pose. Squeeze the muscles at the top of your back leg, your glute muscles. Squeeze them tight so that you can stretch the entire front of your thigh and your pelvis. Next exhale, let's push the front leg straight and drop the back heel down. We'll hold this pose. We're stretching out the calf muscle of your back leg. Next time you inhale forward to lunge, we're going to make another quarter turn towards the swing. Pivot on your feet so that your front toes turn towards the swing and your back toes turn. You'll be on the blade edge, the outer edge of your back foot. Push down through the bones of your legs as you lift through the pelvic floor and squeeze your thighs together. Keep twisting. I'm hoping that you'll feel this in the entire left side body. Let's inhale to unwind, goddess and stand. Release your hands, give them a shake. So if any time this feels like too much pressure on your hands, just don't sit as deep into your goddess. Don't put as much weight in your hands and that you'll just be working more with your legs that way and it'll be a little less traction in your upper body. So let's sit as deep as feels comfortable to you in your goddess pose. Keep your left knee turned out. Lift your right heel and drop the right knee in as you quarter turn to your left. You're in crescent lunge. Inhale in crescent. Exhale, push the front leg straight and stretch, drop your back heel as you stretch the calf. That's inhale to crescent. Hold the pose and squeeze your glute muscles. Squeeze back here so that you can stretch the front of the leg. Let's drop the back heel down to stretch the calf. One more time crescent, and this time we're making a quarter turn to the left, pivoting on the feet. Squeeze your inner thighs together as you push down through the bones of the legs, lift through the pelvic floor, and breathe. Inhale, unwind. Back to goddess and stand up. So we'll work with a different shoulder stretch and we'll give our hands a break. Let's take hold of your middle handles and stand with your back to the swing. Slide your arms up to your elbow creases in the handles. And then walk forward until you feel a stretch in your chest and your shoulders. And then sway side to side. So whenever possible in the swing, I like to sway and circle and bring movement into the posture. I call that an oscillation massage when you bring movement into your pose. And we're massaging the tissues of your body with both the movement and your breath. So a little bit deeper shoulder and chest stretch. Back up towards your swing a bit. You can interlace your hands behind your back and then press forward through the chest for a little bit deeper stretch. And so from here we're transitioning into a shoulder stretch in a kneeling position. So take your blocks underneath your swing. You can slide them there with your feet. Separate your hands. As you begin to kneel onto the blocks, you can rotate your arms and bring your arms overhead. Clasp opposite elbows. So if you don't have the blocks, then you'll be kneeling on your mat. So for traction, sit back towards your heels and you'll feel some good traction through your shoulders. Breathe deep. 
So if this feels uncomfortable, just come back up to kneeling. Don't put so much pressure on your elbows. So when you're ready, inhale to kneeling. We're going to take it into a low lunge. Let's step your right foot forward, point your back toes, and spread wide the top of your foot on the mat. From here, inhale, lift through your chest, and straighten your back leg as you gaze up. Exhale, release. So as you do this, squeeze your glute muscles of the back leg. Let's do that again so that you can stretch the muscles of your front leg. And release. Last time, inhale, straighten the back leg, gaze up. Exhale, release. Let's switch sides. Step your left foot forward, point your back toes. Inhale, gaze up, lift through the chest, back leg straighten, squeeze your glutes, and release. Inhale, gaze up. Exhale, release. And one last time, gaze up. And release. Let's tuck the back toes and inhale to stand. So there's one last part of this sequence. We're going to stand facing the swing. Hold on to the sides of the swing and slide your hands down. Gather up the fabric in your hands. Stand on your left foot and bring your right foot up into the swing. If the swing feels too far away for you, you could stand on a block to help you with this. Draw your heel in as close as you can, as if you're stepping up into the stirrup of a tall horse. You want to see your toes on one side of the, of the stirrup and your heel on the other. So now we can wrap arms around your knee. You can wrap arms and clasp opposite elbows around the sides of the swing, or you can hold on to your upper handles. In any of those positions, press your pelvis forward as you stand down strong through your lower leg and lift through your chest and lean back into a back bed. So you're turning your face towards the sky, and then you can sway side to side. I hope that you'll feel this stretch in the front of your lower leg, the hip flexor region. If we can keep that area stretched out, it's great for our health. It's an area that gets tight from sitting. And so we want to keep our iliopsoas muscles stretched and long. So let's come back upright. Hold on to your upper handles. and. We'll move into more leg stretches for the upper leg. So inhale, extend your upper leg straight forward and then wide to your side. So lift and squeeze through your pelvic floor as you push down through your legs. Breathe deep. Next inhale, bring your leg forward, back in. And now for a hip stretch, let your knee go wide. So you can continue to hold on to your upper handles or elsewhere on the swing and simply lean forward until you feel enough stretch in your outer hip. You can circle or move around a bit. The hips enjoy that circular movement. So if it feels extra tight in your hip, you may want to uh, stretch it more frequently like every day. So let's do this sequence one more time. Bring your knee up, extend leg forward, and then wide to the side. Hold it here for a couple breaths. Squeeze your glutes so that you can be long through the thigh of your standing leg. And then leg forward, leg in, and then wide to the side. And this time hold on to the sides of the swing and lean forward. You could also even rest your hands on your foot and lean forward. If you're able to rest your hands, then you have one hand free. You could reach back and massage your outer hip just a bit, giving it some a compassion. 
So breathe into the tight tension and on your exhale, you can help it melt. So let's do a long exhalation. We'll breathe in, two, three, four, pause, out, two, three, four, five, pause, in, two, three, four, pause, out, two, three, four, five, pause. So continue with that long exhalation. Let's bring knee upright and then step down. Take a moment just to stand your ground. It can be interesting to walk around a bit and, and feel the contrast between sides. We'll move into the second side. So stand facing your swing, gather up the fabric all the way down low. Stand on your right foot and bring your left foot high in the swing. Make it like a stirrup and draw it in very close to your body. Wrap your hands around your knee, around the swing sides. Press down firm through your standing foot and lift through your chest as you lean back into a back bend. And then you can sway side to side. So this is a pose that I like to do every day because if you sit at all in the day, your hip flexors are going to get tight. So keeping a, a balance, balance in the body requires that we keep a length in the front body, length at the front of the pelvis. So from here, let's move into the leg extension. Hold on to your upper handles and extend your upper leg straight forward and then wide to your side. Lift through the pelvic floor as you push out through your legs. Let's inhale, leg forward and then in and let your knee go wide as you lean forward and then you can circle around a bit. Let's move through that sequence one more time. Inhale, extend, and wide. Let's hold it here for a couple extra breaths. You can swing side to side a bit, just enjoying the movement. By holding onto the grips, we're able to uh, explore our, and move our center of gravity around the base of support. So we've expanded our center of gravity. All right, so to come back to center, inhale, leg forward. Bring the knee heel in and then knee wide. So this time for the hip stretch, you can hold on to the sides of the swing or rest your hands, forearms on your leg. You could also massage your outer hip. So uh, if the outer hip feels tight, it could be useful to um, do self-massage using balls. So you could lie on your yoga mat and use a tennis ball would be a starting point for hip massage. And you could roll around till you find those tender points and breathe into it. Lengthen your exhale and relax the tension. So some of these poses, they might feel like you want to hold them for a long time. Feel free to hold them as long as you like, especially the hip stretches. And so when you're ready to release the pose, you'll inhale to stand and step both feet to the ground. So I appreciate you spending this time with me in the yoga swing, and I look forward to our next session. I'm Leela with bodyworker.org. Namaste.